Welcome to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. This is Pixelated Twix, your friendly neighborhood gamer. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with that. Uh, it is Saturday afternoon when I'm recording this, and this will probably come out next week sometime. Usually Friday is when I upload Dragon Age videos, but I like to get ahead of my schedule. At least I'm trying to stick to a schedule now, so let's just see how that goes. Anyways, let's get into the game. The last we left off, we had just finished uh, gathering ashes from the urn of ashes, and um, we haven't yet done this, but we need to visit um, Redcliffe or at least the castle, and I guess give these to someone so the the Arl can be healed. My plan for today is to do that, as well as try to get a couple companion quests done. Um, we have actually a few quests that we can that we need to get done, but I know that we can focus on our companion quests. So we have um, Morgan's quest here for Flemeth's grimoire. We're supposed to go and kill her mom. I don't know if we're high enough level to do that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to wait to do that, but I do want to start on Sten's quest. Um, Sten told us the story about losing his sword and basically the background on why or how the, the farmers ended up being killed by his own hand so i definitely want to start that quest um we've already done alistair so that will be our main quest for today and then um outside of going to denaram and if time permits um we will start uh i think we can either start another main quest or actually what we need to do is do some chatting with our companions. I like to do that after major quest lines are, are completed. So I definitely want to get that done today. So it'll be a pretty light day, but uh, these are things that we need to get done. All right, so let's head over to Red Cliff. And um, I did try to clear out my bags as much as possible. I did end up buying some more bag space, but we're broke again, of course. Um, so yeah, there's some runes and things I want to buy, and there's a bunch of weapons and armor I want to get. All right, we got stopped. Of course we did. So let's take care of uh, what we need to take care of here. Oh. Concentrate like we practiced. Now, fire. Great. That AOE damage. Friendly fire. I can't keep this up. Well, if you don't... Who's doing that? Who is... All right, let's, let's check the, the uh, area. What do we have? We've got Alistair over here. Um... We've got an apprentice that's... Okay, he's good. Um, I want to try to keep these mages alive because I do think they can die. Yep, they can. Okay. Uh, I think one of the apprentices is already down. Mm. Okay, that is the, t the instructor. Okay. All right, so when you're down, um, can you... Um, can you freeze this guy, Alistair? Um, oh, wait, let's see. We got Doggo here. Oxters, you go and howl over here, and I think we're good. Actually, yeah. All right. All right. I just want to check the field again. This mage, he's doing okay for himself. Oxters, why don't you go down here and help the Zim mage? Um, 
Okay, you need to drink when immediately. And hmm, where's Liliana? You can heal Liliana. I shall do so. And freeze. Oh goodness. I think all the mages are dead. Well, so much for trying to save the mages. Um, oh, wait. No, we have a, a live mage over here. So freeze this dude. Um, where's Alistair? Alistair, come over here. And shield pummel. I need to drink badly. Um, yeah, I am getting wrecked. Let's see. The dog's gonna go down. There's nothing I can do about it. Augie's over here to save the day. Alright, Augsters. Do your thing, buddy. Um. Let's see. I need you to heal Alistair. Yes. And then I need you to freeze this guy. Um, you need to drink. Wait, can you heal? You can't. Okay, you're going to have to drink. Sorry. Uh, what are you doing over here, buddy? Okay, you're fine, I think. I think Oxter's Oxter's got you. Massacre, and no one's getting out alive. Okay, let me take care of this guy. Oh shoot! Drink for me. Okay, I don't have any man. Okay, so you're on your own. You're on your own, Jojo. But you can freeze him. Um. No, you can't. Okay. Oxters, can you go over here and stun? What am I doing? Uh, okay. Sweet. We have one mage that survived. Sorry. Didn't mean to... I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. Me too. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. Yeah, but see, your your princesses are dead. I'm sorry. That I tried. Oh man, I feel bad. I tried. But, you know, they weren't experienced enough. Maybe I don't know. Or it could just be my stupidity. <laughs> All right, let's gather up. I wish there was like a, a um, oh sweet lyrium, a um, like a mass loot option. Okay. All right, venture forth to Redcliffe Castle. I'm excited. Are you? I'm excited. Okay, so let us get in here and cure the uh, RL. I, I don't remember if we explored uh, Redcliffe Castle in its, in its entirety, but oh yeah, there's a couple things that I need to do. I need to go back and try to unlock some chests, but I also need to level up my unlock skills. So we need to do that. All right, everybody's here. Oh, sweet. You return. Might you have news? I do. Um, what's his condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. Mm, okay. Um, I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Yes. Let's do this. When exploring dungeons, keep an eye out for traps. Okay.
He has risen. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isold? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Hmm. What did he say was dead? I don't remember. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life. But kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I will neither need nor want any reward from you. No, I need your help against the blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. Um, as you wish. As you wish. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. <laughs> Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him. He is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan, to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. Um, hmm... But you can unite the nobility against Loghain, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. You know, it makes me wonder. Her father was Tyrion, Alaria's father. Wouldn't he have some kind of clout as well in the court? I mean, why, how crazy is it for her to go along with the Arl to not pull rank? Because I'm not really sure how the ranks are. I'm pretty sure Tyrans fall beneath uh, Arls, I believe. But yet and still, she should have, well, she's a warden. So there is that. Wardens aren't allowed to have titles. So, okay. Never mind. Just a thought. Okay, um, what did he say? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. Okay. Um, all right, Loghain must capitulate then. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the king. <clears throat> that it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Hmm. Well, Alistair, your time is up. Um, uh, you intend to put Alistair forward as king. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. 
I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? <coughs> I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. What say you? Hmm. Why do I always get the itchies or something when I start recording? I'm fine all day, and then as soon as I start recording, my throat gets all clogged up, and I, I get all itchy. What is it? Sorry. All right. What say you? Huh? I say we proceed with your plan, my blessing. Why do you need my blessing? Hmm. I'm going to ask this question. What's stopping Loghain from just attacking Redcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. Yeah, if I call true. for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Hmm. Do you think this landsmeet idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. Mm. Um. Huh. Okay, well, it seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Great. <sighs> Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Yeah, okay. Um... All right. Dilemma. I, I, I want to make sure I make the right decision here. The implications behind what he did. He poisoned the Arl by the command of Tyrion Loghain. Um, but he did make the decision to do so. And I think it was to save his own hide because... Um, there is an origin story, the mage's origin story, if you play as a mage, he's involved somehow. So you find out the whys behind he, the reason why he was running. And um, when kind of mentioned it um, in passing, especially when we met Jowan um, in the cellar, or yeah. Um, however... He did try to, he did help us. He did help save Connor. Um, he, you know, he was willing to use forbidden magic, which is blood magic, to save him. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. He, he didn't, well, he did use blood magic in order for us to get, did he, though? No, he didn't. He didn't do anything. Or did he? I don't remember. Point is, he helped. I don't know if that negates the fact that he tried to kill the Earl. But I feel like everyone has, should be given a second chance. And he has some redeeming qualities. Um, and these are scary times and we're going to need all the help we can get. I feel like I want to go with well okay answer one he has cooperated willingly though he has he has little choice but he does seem earnest in his desire to repent I'm going to go with two 
He seems earnest. Oh? That is unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. Yes. Um... I say give him to the Circle of Magi. True enough, and wisely said. Jalen, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. All right, so Jowen has been given over to the Circle of Magi. Most likely what they'll do is um, the Templars will probably make him tranquil, which isn't necessarily terrible, but for a lot of mages, that is a fate worse than death because you've, you've now removed their ability to use magic and to dream. And mages, um, anyone that is a mage uh, dreams in the Fade, I believe, so or enters a fade via dreams and he would no longer be able to do that which in his case is probably a great thing because he is a blood mage and blood mages fall to temptations um by spirits that are in the fade than most mages than regular mages do uh, even though all mages are tempted when they're in the fade all right so um Elyria's leveled up. So we're going to give her some more constitution. I wanted to give her some more cunning. And I think she needs some willpower. Let me just see. Willpower represents a character's determination and mental fortitude. She does need more um, um, willpower. Okay. We don't get a chance to level up lockpicking. Do I, do I want to start working on survival? I feel like I should probably start opening up my combat tactics because I switch around so much during combat. So let's do that. And I want to grab up. Since we're going with the ranger, uh, I do need this though. All right, we're just going to go with lot picking. I do probably want to get... I think my next, I think I'm going to get combat movement next, but I, I want to start going in the ranger. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think I should go with my next, um, skill point. All right. So let's, let's go, um, let's go. Oh, we need Sten, don't we? Do we need Sten? We do. All right, let's head out. And what we'll probably have to do is head to camp and pick up Sten. So what we're going to do is um, just go to camp. We can't go to camp here. Just go to camp and we'll talk to our companions for a little bit. And we'll grab Sten up. And uh, we'll head to his uh, the first part of his quest. Uh, we do need to talk to the, the companion, so let's do that. Who should we talk to first? Let's talk to Zephyrin. Here I am. Here you are. Um, I think I've already asked these questions. Can you teach others to be an assassin? I pretty much did. All right, you know what? Let's give Zephyrin um, a gift. I thought I, I think these are for him because he mentioned something about boots before or something, I guess. Mm, yeah. That smell. This is uneven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. You're welcome. Leather boots do smell good. Leather just smells good in general. Sorry to any of you vegans out there, but leather does smell good. I don't know why. Uh, you're quite welcome. Now, if only you could find me a prostitute or two. Oh. A 
a bowl of fish chowder, and a corrupt politician. I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> and they fit as well. Marvelous. Okay, you mess around with prostitutes, Severin. Um, maybe we can talk to him now. Here I am. All right. Um, I want to discuss something personal. I'm afraid to do this, but we're going to ask. Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? I, I don't think I want to lead Severin on because... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to tell him to do to leave, so... um. All right, let's go to when next. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? Who? What? Um. Okay. Uh, I did flirt with him, but. Um. Do you know about Alistair and me? It's hard not to notice the doe-eyed looks he gives you, especially mm. when he thinks no one's watching. It's almost too sweet for my taste. Sorry, I'm drinking. And I'm an old lady who should be making lace hearts and fuzzy blankets with animal motifs. I hardly think of either person that would make blankets. Um, exactly. You're not like the average old lady. No, I won't be making socks with pom-poms for you anytime soon. But that's hardly my point. I've noticed your blossoming relationship, and I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. Alistair is a fine lad, skilled in battle, but quite inexperienced when it comes to affairs of the heart. I would hate to see him get hurt. If you could see the look on my face, I mean, lady, you're all up in people's business. Like, I love Wynne, but she is one busybody. Um... First of all, I don't even know what's going on between Alistair and I. I mean, we flirt, but there was, like, nothing established. Um, so, yeah. Um, I really don't. Um, yeah, the question three, what about me? Not worried about me getting hurt? Alaria's not exactly experienced either. She's she's very, very young. I mean, I would say she's, you know, if not um, like 19 or 20, somewhere in there. So she's fairly young, and she has no experience. Um, she's never been in love. She's... Um, always been in the castle, so in a sense, she's gullible, naive, not gullible, but she's naive to the world. She's, of course, grown out of that up as much as she possibly can since she's been a, a great warden because she's just kind of been thrown into um, this, this crazy situation, but... <sighs> Okay, I'm just going to go with three. What about me? I am worried about you both. There is great potential for tragedy here. Love is ultimately selfish. It demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? I mean, she has a point. But I would say because she's a Grey Warden, she would go with duty first. Um, I don't want to have to make that choice. Yeah. Nothing is certain. Not in these times. You cannot take anything for granted. I want you to be aware of this. My goodness, she's, I'm like at a, I, I feel like I'm backed in the corner a little bit because this was completely unexpected. I, it's not like Alistair and Ilaria have been like holding hands and frolicking through the flowers. They've had a couple conversations that have been a little flirtatious, but that's it. I mean, he did he did he say something? 
Um, let's see. Um, I'll consider what you have said. That's all I can say. I am just trying to minimize the suffering that may come to either of you. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. Yeah, it was unmarried. You know, I didn't ask for it. <laughs> um, yeah, that threw me off a little bit. Um, okay, so I don't know if I explained these crates over here before, but every time we help a faction, um, they have like a sort of representative that stands in camp, and then we can donate um, to these crates, and each faction requires something different. The mages, I know, require runes. I don't remember at all what humans require so I'm gonna look humans what um, the Red Cliff requires okay so they want coins yeah you know what I don't have enough money to be donating coins sorry um, let's talk to Liliana I have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair mm. my hair uh, thank you uh, yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate it. It's very nice, and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orle. They involved flowers, ribbons, jewels. One year, feathers were all the rage, and Lady Elise decided she needed to outdo everyone else and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. Mm. The chirping was quite charming for a while, but you must realize terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. Oh, uh, dear maker. Yes, you can imagine what she looked like by the end of the evening. But I was trying to say something nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders so. It's just that I, I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. I wouldn't. I'm one of those people that feel, you know, or talk to me. I'm not going to judge you. I mean, and... I'm talking as Alaria, anyways. I mean, I can say the same for myself. Okay, um, well, we are friends, aren't we? Yes, very much so. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. I really enjoy your company. I enjoy your company, too. Um, you are a treasured friend, Liliana. Thank you. I am honored that you feel that way. Awesome, new ability. I, let's see, what was that? Well, darn it. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. So, moderate cutting. Inspired by your leadership, this party member has gained a moderate bonus to cutting. Cunning. Do we have anything from Sten? Yes. Minor strength. So, that. Alaria has nothing, obviously. Wynn has willpower. What does Alistair have? Alistair has constitution. Sweet, because he needs it. Morgan has nothing, because I don't think Morgan likes us quite yet. All right, so let's talk to Stin. You called. Um, I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to Ferelden? I was sent to be the eyes of the Antom. The Arishok asked, what is the blight? By his curiosity. I am now here. What's an air shock? The one who commands the Antam, the body of the Kunari. Um, why does he care about the blight? Why do you? Because it could destroy the world. Ferelden is my home. So if this blight were in Orle, it could consume the land with impunity. No, I'm Don't not saying that. Don't strain yourself pondering that. I do not know why the Arishok sent us. He commands and I go. I didn't mean it like that, but I guess I understand his point. Um, did you find the answer to his question? A portion of it. Um, what is What was the answer? Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? Uh, that is your answer. Gotcha. Fine, let's drop it for now. Parshera, was there anything else? Um, I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Hmm? Do you find Ferelden very strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants, 
The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Mm. That's the real world, too. Um, don't the Canari ever want to change their lot in life? Probably not. Uh, but she wouldn't know... N she wouldn't know not to ask that question. But let's go with four. You sound a big homesick. homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. Mm -hmm. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. <laughs> um, you left out rotting garbage. Yeah, let's say that. Maybe he'll get the joke. True. I was trying to forget that part. Shall we move on? Um, yeah, let's go. As you wish. Do I have anything to give to Stin? Um, I, I don't know. Golden's, okay. Symbol of Andraste. I wonder if that's for Liliana. Let's give that to her, because she's... Pretty devout. Let's give her that. Oh, how dear of you. Awesome. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. Uh, let's give when discovering dragon's blood potions. That, well, yeah, let's give it to her. Oh, my Awesome. Goodness. Okay. Um... Okay, from what I know of Alistair, he likes things like this. Golden Demon Pendant. Because um, it's completely against what he learned as a Templar. But I don't... Let's just give it to oh, him. Oh, thank you. Okay. That's very nice. He didn't like that. Mm. Okay. I don't know who this locket goes to. Wait a minute, this might be something for Liliana. An antique uh, cameo depicting a beautiful woman with jewels in her hair. The cameo is set in, the f in front of a filigreed gold locket. That sounds like something that Liliana, Liliana would like because the jewels in her hair uh, would be something that people in Orlais would, would don. Um, I'm just trying to get things cleared out of my inventory, so... Uh, Let's give it to her. Why, thank you so much. Okay. She didn't like that. All right. So let's give the small bar. I believe that goes to Zevran. You have excellent taste. Awesome. Okay. Next person on the docket is Alistair. Look, before we go any further, I want to say something. I appreciate that you brought me to see my sister. And that you, well, that you were there to talk me down after we left. You're a true friend. I just wanted to tell you that. Why don't you tell Wynne what you just said? That I was a true friend. Um, we're in this together, Alistair. <laughs> that we are. I have your back. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, now that that's out of the way, I, your desire is my command. Oh, okay. Uh... I have some questions. Of course. Hmm. Why did you keep your birthright a secret? You never ask? Hmm. That's a cheap answer. <sighs> All right. If you want the full explanation, I'll give it to you. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then after the battle, when I should have told you, I don't know, it seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? Easy. Um, how about, by the way, I'm the heir to the throne. Or, no. I can see why he hid that. So I can understand. I... I should have told you, anyway. 
it was important for you to know. I guess part of me liked you not knowing. Why? What happens when people find out? They treat me differently. I become the bastard prince to them instead of just Alistair. I know that must sound stupid to you, but I hate that it shaped my entire life. I never wanted it, and I certainly don't want to be king. The very idea of it terrifies me. Hmm. <sighs> you probably don't have a choice in the matter. You can say that again. I don't think I've ever had a choice in the matter. Right from when I was born, all my choices have been made for me. And now Arleman plans to put me forward as the heir. It never ends, does it? For what it's worth, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. I... I guess I was just hoping that you would like me for who I am. It was a dumb thing to do. No, but I do. Um... No worry about it, Alistair. No harm done. I don't think Alaria. alaria has been around royalty. She's used to that. I think she would appreciate that Alistair, even if he was just, if he wasn't um, heir to the throne, she would still appreciate him as a person, um, not his titles. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go.